Hello, my beautiful Aries. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have one card here. It says, past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Okay. So, I mean, the card speaks for itself here. Definitely for some of you, you know, this person may feel like they have, you know, shared a past life with you and you may feel the same way here. But there is something very intense about this connection. Maybe even an energy of you feeling like no matter what occurs between the both of you, you always feel so drawn to this person or you feel like you guys always, you know, find your way back to each other here. Okay, so it could be someone that you obviously have history with. Let's see. Look at this, guys. The Ten of Pentacles wanted to pop out. Um, so I feel like, yeah, you could have been in a higher level of commitment with this person. Maybe you currently are. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Split the deck and we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. Seems like some of you are feeling disrespected by this individual. You're feeling a bit wounded or like you don't trust them. The Nine of Wands could also be letting me know that you have this person blocked. Like you're currently not wanting to speak to them. You're not wanting to hear from them. You could have blocked their number, blocked them on social media. Okay, let's see. Page of Swords, yeah. This person is spying on you, Aries. So they could be keeping tabs on you through social media. They could be asking about, you know, asking about you to mutual friends, maybe watching tarot readings. But I just feel like they're very curious about what you're up to. So bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Judgment. This person wants to offer you something, but they're holding back until they figure something out about you. Whether it's, you know, figuring out if you're involved elsewhere, whether it's figuring out if you still feel the same way about them, they do want to speak to you, but there's a level of, I'm waiting for the right time, or right now, if I reach out, it's going to, you know, end up in shambles. Like, they, there's something to, something to do with timing, but there's also an energy of wanting to know something about you or know something about the way that you feel before they tell you what they want to, you know, uh, be open about. Judgment, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. They're still thinking about how to work on things with you because with the Two of Cups, they're feeling very connected here. But Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles is like an energy of how do I work on things with Aries? How do I come out of the cold? Okay. The Magician. Yeah, this is definitely someone who wants to manifest a new beginning here. Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Hanged Man. I think this is someone who realizes how happy you make them, and they may also be viewing things from your perspective. Looks like the Sun is around his um, head there as well, so there's a lot of, like, like a lot is being illuminated to this individual at this time. Not only do they want a fresh new start here, I feel like there could be an energy of, okay, well, how did, you know, uh, the way that things transpired between Aries and I make Aries feel? And how do they currently feel about me? They do feel like they have the power in their hands to change a situation, but I feel like there's like a lot of curiosity or trying to figure something out about you um, as of currently. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you're a catch. They're viewing you in like a very beautiful, abundant energy. They may even feel like you are someone that they've manifested or someone that they dreamt of. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to get their ducks in a row. They're trying to figure out what is the most practical thing to do. And with the Wheel of Fortune, they're hoping that things work out in their favor. Look at this, guys. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. They're hoping that if they come forward with the confession, it will result in a commitment. Okay. Page of Cups, and it wanted to come out with the Fool card. Bottom of the deck here, the Eight of Wands. 
behind at the death card. For some of you, what I'm getting here is this could be someone who went through a painful ending, you know, on their own. Okay, so there could be some sort of an emotional loss, whether it's, you know, the loss of a family member, you know, another lover or just a tough experience, but they're wanting to uh, pursue you. They're they're looking at you in, in a very positive light. They feel like you are someone that they want to be with because here's what I'm getting. And as much as they are trying to attain some sort of information on you, you're showing up as single and Page of Cups is more of a crush energy and the Fool card can be symbolic for a new love. So if this is not new love in some cases, it could be someone that you have history with, but they want a brand new start. Like they don't want anything in the past to make it make its way into the present or future. Like they want to, like their approach is very new. They're changing their approach here because they want a new beginning. Eight of Wands, the death card, that's someone speaking to you after you guys have had an ending. But I do feel like there's something this person went through in their personal life that is affecting them. So maybe you're aware of what they have gone through, or maybe that's what they want to communicate here with the Eight of Wands. This could also be a long distance union because it could be a card of travel. So this person may need to move uh, you know, closer to you in order to pursue this connection. For some of you, this could be a Scorpio with the death card. Okay, what's the Page of Swords? It's like a part of them just wants to approach it in a very lighthearted way. Like, okay, I don't know what the future holds, but I'm just going to tell Aries how I feel and, I'll, and you know, we'll see where it goes kind of thing. But then a part of them is like, no, that's not really the smartest thing to do. You need to be a little more strategic or you need to figure out if, you know, kind of where Aries' head is at, you know, that sort of thing. So what is the Page of Swords? King of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to express how they feel to you. Bottom of the deck here, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so Aries, this person is viewing you as very hard to read at this time, and they feel like you may be observing this connection, but they can't tell. Like, what they're thinking of you right now is just, they're just assuming. It's just, it's just like, okay, I'm assuming that Aries is thinking about this, but I really can't put my finger on how they're feeling. So you could be a bit detached or you could be even upset with this individual. But with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, you are looking at the connection like, okay, well, this could have been differently or maybe this should have been handled differently. You do feel like it's someone that you you have, you know, planted some sort of seeds with, but you, you're also, you know, what's becoming clear to you is what was not working in the connection. So you're more so analyzing what what has occurred. You're You're, you know, taking a trip down memory lane and you're kind of analyzing the timeline. And when thing when certain things would occur here. And it's interesting because we have the King of Cups, but we have the Page of Cups. There could be an age gap between the both of you, or there's a difference when it comes to the way that you guys express yourselves to each other, specifically pertaining to your emotions. So like you may feel like, yeah, this person is someone who is going to come in in a very lighthearted way. Maybe this is something that you know about them, but on your end, you could want more. Maybe you want this person to handle things in an in a more mature manner or you're just wanting more emotional expression from them and you want them to dig uh you know uh explore the depths of their you know emotions here instead of just saying something lighthearted or uh going about things on like a surface level what's the magician five of pentacles Bottom of the deck here, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Wands. It seems like this, like, like in the past here, you may have been more certain on what you wanted from this connection as opposed to this person. You know, King of Pentacles and Knight of Wands is a very, there's a, there's definitely a difference between those two energies and Three of Wands. This person may feel like they weren't really focused on the future or they weren't really planning on uh, you know, what, what would happen, you know, like a year from when you guys met or like a few months from when you guys met, they feel like they were very just taking things one day at a time, but now they may feel like it backfired on them with the five of pentacles because they feel like they don't have access to you. And what they're manifesting is to come out of the cold or, or to be able to speak to you, but there's an energy of you feeling fed up. Okay. So what's the nine of pentacles? Three of Cups. This person may feel like you're going out more, you know, you're socializing, you look very happy. We have the Queen of Cups here, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, guys, what they want is a commitment, you know, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, but with the Queen of Cups and King of Cups, they really want to tell you how they feel. 
Because here's the, here's the thing. When they view you, they do view you as someone who's very emotionally intelligent. They do view you as someone who's able to understand them, you know, on an emotional level. But right now they feel like you're upset with them or you, you've had it up to here where you're like, I don't really want to hear, you know, what you have to say or I feel like this conversation is pointless or it's not going anywhere. Like this person feels like you're at the point of like, almost giving up or you're because with the nine of pentacles and the three of cups it seems like they're viewing you as someone who is looking for new love or you're trying to just like you know um put yourself out there or spend more time on your own and do things that make you happy it's almost like they're viewing you as trying until you got to a point where you felt like you were hitting a dead end what's the fool card but I do think that this person wants to tell you how they feel. Two of Cups, yeah. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, the World, the Empress, Five of Wands. This person feels extremely connected to you. This is someone who may feel like you would make a great mother or father. But with the Ace of Swords and the World card, they know that a truth needs to come out in order for uh, there to be a change in this dynamic. With the Five of Wands, when they think about the past with you, Aries, they may feel like there's a lot of petty arguments or conflict that could have been avoided. You know, because in the Five of Wands, they're fighting with sticks, not swords, right? So there could have been like, maybe, like, like I said, like, um, arguments that were not really that important or just like petty behavior where this person's looking back at it like okay maybe we could have handled that differently or maybe we could have just conversed with each other without it having to escalate into an argument like there is regret in the way that they've handled things and with the two of cups again guys this person feels very connected to you but i think that the way that they show you their emotions makes you look at them in a different light or it makes you feel like they're they're expressing their emotions to you in an immature manner because um, both those cards are still clarifying the page of cups which the page of cups could be like a crush energy or someone who is very light-hearted fun and they tell you sweet things but it's not necessarily very stable and it's not the most mature energy either so that could be your concern here wanting this person to uh you know put their big girl or big boy pants on or, or handle things in a different manner here so what is the king of cups Five of Wands, yeah. This person's very conflicted, I will say that, guys. And I think that something else is like, this is someone who has emotions for you, but the way that they approach the situation or the, or there would be small things that they would do which would make them come off as immature. Like whether it was like mind games or you knew this person had emotions for you, but they would purposely say things to get under your skin or to get a reaction from you. You kind of wish that they would just, you know, admit that they had emotions for you and you guys were able to move forward instead of, I mean, I don't really know how to sugarcoat it. I guess instead of just playing games here, because it seems like there was a lot of mind games or like petty behavior where you're looking at it like you could have avoided that, you know, or you could have just, you know, why can't we just be honest with each other and move forward? Why does it always have to be an obstacle in the way? Or why does it have to be you proving to me that you are getting attention elsewhere or you trying to toy with my emotions? There's a lot of conflict here that you feel like you guys could have avoided if your person were to handle things in a different manner. It's almost like they had they they like they have a lot of emotions for you, but the way that they show you that, the way that they handle their emotions is maybe not the most uh, effective, you know, way to go about it. Two of Wands, the Moon, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, what's hidden from you is this person is still thinking about a future with you. They may even be waiting for a sign from you, Aries. So like if they reach out to you, they may ask they may ask you you know very specific questions, or this is someone who is like. Um, watching your social media with the page of swords and they're waiting for a hint or they're waiting to see okay is Aries involved with anyone else or is like there's a very strategic side to this person is what I'm getting at guys like they would rather try to figure something out on their own than to directly ask you and maybe you feel like the indirect uh, communication here is kind of rubbing you the wrong way like you wish this person was just more straightforward what's the five of pentacles Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they feel like you don't you don't necessarily trust them because of the way that they have uh, you know been acting in the past. And with the Seven of Swords upright, this person is still being very strategic. They are still 
like there's a level of them wanting to like they want to figure something out about you right so for example if it's the way that you feel or what you're up to maybe you wish they would just ask you but you feel like they're constantly doing something behind your back or they're creating this very like a sneaky narrative around them and with the eight of cups they're viewing you as someone who's who's detaching and also someone who's very cautious with where you're putting your energy with the queen of pentacles they're viewing you as extremely stable, you know, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, we even have the Nine of Pentacles there. But there is an energy of, okay, well, Aries is really paying close attention to where they're investing their energy. They're not just going to, you know, um, you know, offer me their pentacle because they don't trust me. It's, it's the way that you view them or the way that you, like, their approach to the situation that is creating a blockage. And that is why your person may want to change their approach. Because that is what I said earlier in the spread as well. So what is a three of cups? Yeah, knight of cups. I feel like this person, like they want to confess to you, right? Like they want to tell you how they feel. But I see that, like I can see from your end where you're wanting more. Like you're aware that the emotions are here, but you just wish that maybe the blockages could disappear. Or maybe you wish that this person wouldn't, uh, you know, stall on moving things to the next level. It seems to be someone who's really good with their words, Aries, don't get me wrong, but I also feel like maybe you're just wanting more maturity. Like, even if this is someone that you've known, uh, you know, from childhood, or you know that they have like a childlike energy, there's a part of you that wants them to kind of grow up a little bit or handle this in a more grown manner. I know it sounds repetitive, guys, but I have to tell you what I'm getting. Because it seems like their approach to it is what's bothering you. What's the two of cups? Six of pentacles, the empress, the five of swords, ten of cups. Yeah, you're like, there. if you see a lot of growth in the situation, why is there constantly conflict between the both of us? Or what is causing conflict in your mind? Okay, uh, what is the two of cups? Knight of swords. Yeah. Like, even if you are communicating with this person right now or you receive communication from them in the future, you will realize that it's it's inconsistent or you're realizing that, that you don't like the way that they're speaking to you or going about their emotions. It's like maybe sometimes it's humorous. Maybe sometimes it is a good time between the both of you. And, you know, maybe you even fell for this person because, you know, they have a very, uh, you know, youthful energy to them. But then, like, when you're when you're thinking about commitment or you're thinking about you know, turning over a leaf and, 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 you know, starting on more of a serious note here, you may want this person to actually meet you halfway and take things more seriously. Because I see them communicating with you, but it's more so like they want to express their emotions to you. I do see that. But we have two nights here, which means there's not a lot of consistency as of right now. And with the page of cups and the, and the full card, I do see them like wanting to change their approach. But it's like, this is more so someone reaching out to you because they feel the urgency to speak to you. It's not someone who knows exactly what's going to happen in the future. Do they have emotions for you? Yes, absolutely. Do they feel connected to you? Absolutely, with the two of cups there. But there is some sort of petty behavior that, that maybe you feel like could be worked on, is what I'm getting at. Okay, so my wonderful Aries, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.